Hello, my name's Mel. Welcome to my world. And for those of you that are new to my channel, it's all about self-built camper vans and camper van related stuff. So if that's something that interests you, then please do consider subscribing to my channel. Now today's Wednesday, so this is Waffle on a Wednesday, where I answer your questions to the best of my ability. And today I'm going to go above and beyond that. I've got a really good question and I thought this deserves some of my time. Hi Mel, did you have or do you have a detailed plan of sizes of the stuff you can fit into the medium wheelbase? As trying to do costings but need to know what we can fit in the first place. We like the look of your van layout. Many thanks, Gary and Val. So now I think that's a fantastic question because all the van tour videos you see on YouTube, nobody actually mentions the size of anything. And I do get asked continuously, how big is your cupboard? How much headroom do you've, have you got? How long is your van? These sort of questions pop up all the time. So hopefully this one video will answer all those questions. So I'm gonna get out my tape measure basically measure the entire contents of my van now anybody can go online and look up medium wheelbase sprinter and what the sizes are on the inside but nowhere does it tell you the size or the space you've got once your van has been insulated so let's start with the width the height and the length of my van now that it's actually got insulation in it so my van is 88 centimeters high or 74 inches being six foot two so that's the height of my van now let's take a look at the width i'll do about mid height remember a van is kind of tapered like this and then goes down like that so i'm going to give you mid height and that's the probably the wide-ish point of the van 68 inches or 73 centimeters so what's the length now the length i know is over and this is from the bulkhead, from my front bulkhead, where the camera is, to the back of my bed. If I can get on there. 130 inches, 330 centimetres, 3.3 metres. <laughs> so there you go, that's the height the width and the length of my van. I should write this down really, shouldn't I, as I go? <sighs> Good point. <laughs> so now let's start with the furniture, starting with my bed. Now I've got a double bed, it's a king size, so it should be, I'll move my cushion out of the way, five foot deep. Yep, so it's five foot deep. And because I've got minimum insulation at the foot and the head of the bed, it gives me a bed that is actually six foot wide. It's a tad under six foot, I think. Yeah. It's 71 inches. So it's one inch under six foot. But I have added a little bit more insulation than I originally had because it was a little bit chilly. And when I put the windows in, I added these extra boards, which took away about an inch. It was exactly six foot when I first did it. But what about the height of the bed? <laughs> okay, height of the bed. Now the height of the bed is 31 inches or 79 centimetres and it's this height for a reason. And to show you why it's that high, I'll have to take you outside. The bolts for this door runner are actually on the inside of the van. So this door runner is bolted from the inside out. And if everyone needs to remove this door runner, because my bed's just above it, I've got easy access to those bolts. But why would I want to remove this door runner? Simple answer is, because there's some nasty rust under here and this has been here since I brought Mary and in my mind I'm thinking I may have to remove this one day to take care of these slight rust spots so that's why my bed is the height that it is so that's the bed covered now let's take a look at my kitchen unit <laughs> I guess it was a kitchen unit yeah. all right so that's 45 inches long and if, which is 115 centimeters in length 16 inches deep or 40 centimeters and it gives me a gap to walk through to the door between the edge of my kitchen flap I've got a flappy thing here so when that's down <laughs> I don't know why I lifted it up when that's down the entrance is 23 and a half inches so I've got 23 and a half inch gap going outside which is 59 centimetres. 
Now the height of my kitchen unit is 34 inches, I believe, from memory. Yep, 34 inches high, which is 89 centimetres. So that's the kitchen unit. Now my seating area, when I first come up with the design of the interior of my van, I wanted this seat bench to be exactly six foot long, so that if ever I had a guest stay over, I could actually sleep in here on this, and my guests could have the double bed. And that's why this bench seat is how it is, and I wanted it to be six foot long. But then I realised, are my kids really going to want to come away with me? Probably not. And then I saw the wood burner, so I decided to put the wood burner on the end of this bench seat. And that's why this bench seat is how it is. So from the foot of my bed, or from the edge of my bed, to the bulkhead, is actually exactly six foot. And that's the reason why it's six foot, because... In my mind, I was thinking that I could use this as a spare bed. But like I say, then I fitted the wood burner. So now it's got the wood burner. It is 52 inches, 132 centimeters. And the depth of my bench is 23 inches or 58 centimeters. And the height, and again, there's a reason it's this high and that was for these plastic boxes from Wilco's. And it is 18 inches or 46 centimetres, whichever is the closest. So that's my bench seat. Now all the other vans I've built in the past, I've had the bench actually going across this way. But this van, because I've got the bench going down this side and I've got the kitchen cupboard this side, it means I've got access to underneath my bed via these cupboard doors. And they are 27 and a half inches high or 69 and a half centimetres high by 26 and a half inches wide or a 68 centimetres and that gives me brilliant amount of access to underneath my bed as you can see my toilet is there my power packs there I've got another power pack in there as well I'm doing an experiment I'm doing a, a comparison between the Jackery and the Bluetti that's why they're under there. Okay, so let's go back up and I'll measure my cupboards. Let's just take a little look at my storage cupboards. I've deliberately made these quite small so that I wouldn't keep hitting my bonts on them. You can see in some camper vans they have the cupboards and you end up with a corridor, a very narrow corridor going down the centre of the van. I didn't want that, I wanted plenty of room. After all, I live in this van full time so I wanted to give it that more airy feel. I wanted that sense of space. So from ceiling to the bottom of my cupboards, the drop is only uh, 12 and a half inches or 32 centimeters and the depth from underneath is a mere nine and a half inches or 24 centimeters so you see they are quite small but the length i've got them pretty much going the full length of the van that is oh and that's upside down 94 inches or 200 and oh, almost two meters actually it's, a, it's about a smidge under two metres in length. There you are, not bad at all. So although they're quite small, I can get quite a lot in them. But mainly it's just knickknacks. All my clothes and everything I keep underneath the bench in those plastic boxes. Now what about this one, the other side? Again, this cupboard is quite small, but in here is mainly my coffee and tea making stuff in here and condiments and stuff like that. And in this one is all my personal stuff like deodorant and soaps and whatever. And the length of this one is what's that? 65 and a half or 66 centimetres. And again, I think the drop is exactly the same. Yep, 32 centimetres or 12 and a half, nearly 13 inches. It's a little bit deeper than this one, than that one, for some strange reason. <laughs> Nine inches deep that way again, and 24 centimetres. So there you go, that's my overhead cupboards. Now incidentally, the, the cupboard doors are all made out of cladding, and I use two pieces of cladding, that's why the drop is the drop that it is, and the cladding doors are only seven inches deep by whatever they are in length, and I think they're about, let's have a little quick look, 28 and a half inches long, or 73 centimetres. So there you go, that's my overhead lockers. And the doors are all the same, they're all made out of the same two pieces of cladding and I did that so that I get the drop as narrow as possible again, to stop me banging my head 
Now there's one other piece of furniture and that's my fireplace. I almost forgot. So this is my cubic mini wood stove and it is looking a little bit old now. When I first got it, it was all nice and shiny. All this brass was really nice. But um, yeah, <laughs> it's definitely looking used now. But I only light it at night um, and it keeps me warm all night as well. Now the depth for this is 18 and a half inches or 74 centimeters by <laughs> two foot, almost three, uh, two foot, uh, three quarters, two foot and three quarters or 63 centimeters. And the height is exactly two foot or 61 centimeters. And underneath here is my Dometic CX50 refrigerator. Shall I measure the front? Yeah, I might as well measure the front of that as well, so you can see what it is. And this measures 14 and a half inches, or 37 centimetres, and the height is 21 inches, or 54 centimetres, or thereabouts. There you go, the make fridge. And by the way, way too small. Well, there you go. Hopefully that gives you an indication of what you can actually fit in a medium wheelbase Mercedes Sprinter. If you like this video, please do give me the thumbs up. Don't forget, if you're new to my channel, why not consider subscribing? And if you've got any questions for me for next week, then please do leave them in the comment section of this video. Until then, time half an hour. How am I going to do this? I've not thought this through. <laughs>